McDonald's, an absolute icon in the food industry, originally started here in Southern California, but has since expanded to over 38,000 locations in over 100 countries. And I bet you didn't know that McDonald's is actually the 31st largest company in the world due to the fact that they own the land and the buildings of each of their 38,000 franchises. Nonetheless, my beautiful girlfriend Savannah and I will be breaking down whether McDonald's in the United States tastes better or worse than those in Europe. First stop, where are we? We're at McDonald's in Paris, France. And we're gonna put this to the test because in America, McDonald's is not the healthiest. So, fries? Big Mac? Way less salty. Damn, first thought. Very soft. They taste like actual potato fries. They're not salty at all. No salt, no preservatives, I'm assuming. Yeah, it seems like they actually just peeled potatoes and fried them. We're not just saying this for the dang video. We don't eat McDonald's all the time at home, but if you live in America, you know McDonald's. I've personally never had a Big Mac before, but he got one and he's gonna have it. And this already looks way smaller than what people usually get. What'd you call it when we first saw it? A little Mac. <laughs> a little Mac. Yeah, we've noticed that the proportions here in Paris have been much smaller. smaller. Yeah, much smaller than America. So. They give you enough food to like satisfy your hunger, but not to make you feel full. I'm gonna put this Big Mac to the test. What do you think? It's like genuine. The patty's a little bit dry. It's not like super saucy and greasy like it is in America. How do you care about them? It's just not as like greasy, I would say. They call it a sandwich. It's not, they, don't, they didn't call it a burger. I was looking for a burger and it was under the sandwich section, so. What would you rate it? A 7.5. I don't think Europe does burgers quite like America does, but to say this isn't good would be an understatement. So impressed, not gonna lie. So McDonald's Paris, not too bad. Pretty impressed. We really wanted to try French macaroons. Obviously we're gonna go to a different, like a patisserie, but we wanted to try them here at McDonald's because we were so surprised they even had them. Um, we don't know what the flavor is, but they had this one and they had the pink one. They're like mini Krabby Patties, so. And their iced coffee, that was the first time I've ever had it. It's honestly surprisingly really good. It was like yeah. a latte. Yeah, it's so hot here in Paris, like we had to get a coffee, so. Right. Anyways, cheers. <laughs> Mm. It's not the consistency I thought it was gonna be. Uh -oh. I thought it was gonna be like a cracker and you like, or like a cookie and you bite into it, but it's like mm. chewy. Mm. All right, McDonald's number two in Brussels. So let's give this a taste. I had to go to classic Big Mac. We got some like tomato fries. That's a good taste. I mean, these fries got like tomatoes and cheese, lettuce. No, that was your lettuce. That wasn't. <laughs> Whoops. All right, anyways, so. Put this to the test. The fries are good. Not salty at all. They don't taste like the ones in America. They taste healthier. I've never seen these fries at home. We didn't see these fries in Paris either. So I'm kind of seeing like the different menus and stuff like that. You know, Did you like it with the tomato? But I didn't really try. Um, but this burger, this burger is fire. I think overall I prefer the original ones just because I don't like that soggy texture. And if you don't like it either, I would definitely not get mm. it. But overall they taste good. Mmm. I would get these in America without a doubt. So. McDonald's Belgium did a good one. No, but they also look here, they don't allow, like everything has to be non-GMO, it has to be healthy. There's a lot of things they wouldn't pass that they sell in the United States. So, it definitely looks much cleaner. But just these two were, came out to like $10. 10 euros, which is like yeah, 10 euros. 11, 12 dollars. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, about 11 bucks, so. That's usually like, the meal is like eight bucks, usually I think at home, so. I don't know, pros and cons, but. Definitely worth paying a little bit more for some healthier food. And overall, in every country we've been to, McDonald's is still just as popular. Everybody loves it. And I think a lot of people like it here because it's an American food chain and they get to have it, which is pretty cool. All right, we just exited McDonald's. And something worth noting is every bathroom charges you to either go in or use the stall. So kind of something we've noticed in Europe where in America, go to the bathroom, do what you need to do. It's free, like no harm, no foul. It was but, like a euro to go to the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like 30 cents or something like that. But but anyways, I'll see you guys in Amsterdam. All right, McDonald's number two. Number three. Oh, oh my God. All right, McDonald's number three in... Amsterdam. So pretty standard, pretty fast. But one thing we did notice is there's a greeter at the door, which is pretty unusual for McDonald's. Although in, the, in Belgium, there was a greeter in the bathroom. So teach their own. But got the standard Big Mac and fries. The fries, what do you think? I have an opinion. They're good, they're a little bit crispy. A little bit of salt, I can taste There's it. There's salt in it. The other mm -hmm. ones had no salt, or it tasted like they had zero salt. These ones taste more like the ones in the United States. This resembles most. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's some chili dip too. You don't get chili dip at home, or here really. But one thing we did notice, the prices were pretty, pretty higher here. For this whole thing, it was like 12 bucks. So 
Definitely a little bit steeper. Savannah so got the nuggets. I wanted to try the nuggets because I don't really, I don't know. I want to see if they actually have like, they taste more like chicken here or if they taste like the iconic McNugget. Yeah, iconic McNugget. Pretty standard nugget. But the thing is, in the Netherlands, you can't use the same processed foods. So, for my favorite part, Big Mac. Mm-hmm. Do you like it? Mm-hmm. McDonald's is so consistent. Same ingredients in everything? It's a solid burger. Same ingredients, bun in the middle, two patties. You don't like pickles on your burger, you're weird. McDonald's Amsterdam, pretty standard. Pretty, you know, the burger does feel healthier. See what I'm saying? So far, we think that this one resembles the closest to the one in the United States. Mm -hmm. This damn burger is not greasy. McDonald's Amsterdam, pretty impressed. Good burger, salty fries, nuggets, pretty similar. So, not too bad. Eight out of 10, same old. McDonald's. Bye, thank, thank you. you. Have a good day. So that's what I'm saying, there's a greeter at the front door and bathroom was free. So, good thing to know. Amsterdam, McDonald's. See you in this All right, welcome to McDonald's in Dusseldorf. It's the last stretch of our trip, the last McDonald's we're gonna have to hit and let's see what this one tastes like. So at first glance, there's no greeter and this place is super modern. It doesn't really feel like a McDonald's. Like there's no big M's or like anything around this place. Mm -hmm. um, but they do offer waffle fries. Waffle fries. So, and chili sauce. So, huh? Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, they need to bring this chili sauce to the States. It is so good. It's so gas. And these waffle fries, not the hottest, but what? I like them. I think they are a little bit crunchy. They could be a little bit softer, but the taste, the spice on them is really, really good. It's like the, what's it called? Cajun fries at home. Yeah, like Cajun fries. Yeah, mm -hmm. they taste Sorry. really good. And I got a, it's like a chocolate frappuccino. Um, do the Big Mac. The patty doesn't look as like good as it did in Amsterdam and Belgium and France, I think. So anyways, we're gonna see at the end of the video. It just feels cleaner. Like, oh no. The States burgers are so greasy. These just, they feel cleaner. It tastes like a Big Mac. It's you're pretty stereotypical. Pickles, lettuce, double patty. Um, they got the extra bun in the middle. Is there any main difference between the three that you, the other three you've tried? No main difference. I mean, they just do, they just feel like cleaner, more, like less hearty. More of like a, it's a meal, but not as like heavy on my stomach, like as they did in the States. So never thought I'd be in Europe and try McDonald's, but for the video and for you guys, I think it was worth it. And uh, yeah, hope you guys liked our reviews and I think Tyne's off, signing off. Key point, no trash cans. You put your trash can in like that tray looking thing. So kind of interesting and free bathrooms. So another positive of Dusseldorf, McDonald's. So anyways, hope you guys enjoy the video.